match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of their excitement and expectation. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And so, the national anthems. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Aidan Dzeko. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique, and that allows him to bring others into the game. He's a very powerful finisher too, so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not. I would advise the former. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Played into the middle. Oh, sweet feet. Oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Pjanic. Sunic tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Look at the defender bombing forward. of the outcome it is good to see someone running at the defense like that still rather frustratingly it is nil nil great strength too strong for his opponent that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And it's half-time here. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. That's the first half compared with your expectation. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, 0-0. Nil -nil. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. 
Oh, that is lovely footwork. Can he deliver? Pjanic. And that's sprayed out wide. Looking to go deep. Towering header! And it's a goal! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Dzeko really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintain control. So we have our breakthrough. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out. And it's paid off here. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Time to deliver. Your impression so far, Jim? The United States are not doing enough to get themselves back in the game. They're not as threatening as their opposition. It's got to change. Besic. Kolasinac. Set up one goal so far. Balls out on the left now. Oh, that's neat. There are a few waiting for it. Plays it back. Chance! And he's there to clear it. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And he has been fouled there. That's a fine save. Absolutely terrific, terrific reflexes. Goalkeeping at its very best. Hoists it forward. The United States are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. And he just whacks it away. Looks to clip it forward. Away from immediate danger. Gorgeous control there. Here's the chance to cross. Aimed in towards the centre. And that's it. Always in the balance. And in the end, one goal was enough.